Hello everybody, it's Dr. Zaino with 15 Minute Fuel, which is in 15 minutes a day, will free your mind, your body, and your future. Alright, so uh, this is, uh, let me tell you kind of how things went on. Uh, if you're watching this, we are on location in Colorado Springs, doing live, we're at the Live Reach Seminar. And the way things work is you go there, it's a great seminar, it teaches you about telling your story, you know, how to get on the stages, or be able to have a platform to do that, tell your story, and then and scaling it, you know, how do you, how do you take something you love to do if it is speaking or if you have a story and make it something that there's an exchange of value in. So just appreciate you guys being on the journey with this. This is still part of that hero's journey. We get the whole team here. Uh, so today I'm going to talk to you about uh, just that. You know, again, as you know, share, like, uh, join all the Facebook uh, and and uh, social media stuff we have to see even more stuff. We're doing some different things on uh, Instagram. Check out the Instagram stories and on Snapchat. Make sure you check those out. If not, join them and search. It's Dr. Zeno. All right, so today I'm going to talk about, it'll be a little bit shorter one because i got to get ready to go in a little bit, but um, that the only way you could serve the world is by telling your story. You know, so many people, so every single person has a story inside them. All of you do. Multiple. You have multiple heroes' journeys in you. And it's something that you have those journeys so you could share them with others. They're not to be selfishly kept or you cannot uh, keep them hidden for the fears of other people's opinion toward you. Because for the one person, again, remember we used to say, well, what, I'm going to lose this. What do I have to lose, right? But really, what do you have to gain? So instead of worrying about the one, two, three people that don't appreciate it or might not uh, like your story or, or your opinion, how about all the people? How about all the gains so many other people could get by actually uh, hearing your story, being inspired, you giving them permission and light to do the same, to be able to help others. So your story is the, uh, it's, it's the testimony. You know, you, it's just like someone says, oh, you know, you teach your testimony. It's your testimony. Your story is your testimony. And it's something that needs to be done. So all of you have it. I mean, all of you could speak it. I used to say, hey, listen, you know, find your vehicle. It could be speaking, writing, video, whatever. Um, and if you're a writer, write it down. Write down your, your story. If you're a speaker, speak out your story or put it on video, but you got to get it out because when you get it out, you, found, you find out a little more about yourself and then, then you tease the story, meaning that you tease it as far as like you really, you get it down to say it even more efficiently. You learn, you get to relive a couple things and they might be painful, but you learn a lot, a lot, a lot about the process of life and then you really get to see the, the, the key points that you take away from the story. What did that story teach you? What did that journey teach you? And those key points are really the key points you get to teach others. So it's very important. And I just really felt uh, impressed upon you watching this, whoever watches this, is that you need to tell your story. And everybody has a story, period. You all got a story. And if you don't think you do, it's because you don't give yourself enough credit. You got it. Not only you got it, you need to write it down or speak it or try it and start working on it. It led your test. Everybody has a testimony. You need to speak your testimony because your testimony, again, gives other people permission to be able to do the same. And it really helps so many other people. People just want to know that they're not alone. There's plenty of other people. We make mistakes. We have wins. We have losses. And to know that, listen, you know, we're not the only ones. Someone else went through this, and this is what they learned. It's so comforting. And this is the way we, we could help the world and do what we want to do. And also, it's the way that if it is something you enjoy doing or you want to pursue another career in your purpose, then if you're going to pursue any career in your purpose, something that you love doing, your story is going to have to, you're going to have to tell your story anyway. You know, the hero, is the, the hero thing I'm doing now, i got a story behind it. Chiropractic, i got a story. So whatever company you're going to do to build value, to, to show people that, listen, I'm not just doing this to sell something. I'm not doing this just because I'm going to do it. It's like there's a huge story that there's an impact. There's something much deeper behind it. And that's so, that, that actually promotes and casts the vision of what you're doing. And this is what builds trust. This is what builds a culture of that. And this allows you to then be able to do the thing that you love to do. So make sure you tell your story. So on the update, um, so yesterday, they had 40 speakers do a three-minute speak-off. So we would go in a room. There were six, uh, six or eight judges, camera, and a clock that said three minutes that counted backwards. And you had three minutes. And then you do the three minutes, and then you have some feedback. And then they said later that night, around 10 p.m., you would have your, uh, you would know who the 12 finalists were. And, uh, you know, so we went to like a little banquet and at 10 o'clock I opened up my email and there was no email. So I'm like, well, maybe, you know, something, you know, maybe not, not out yet. And then 11, no email and then 12, no email and then two in the morning, I'm getting up, no email. And, you know, I didn't get the email. 
it's like, wow. And, you know, and, and it's, it's not an arrogance thing, but I was like, you know what? You know, I would think I'd still at least, you know, not better than everybody else, but I thought my message would at least be top 12 out of 40. And um, so I started, I didn't question it, but part of the day question I bring up is like, well, these, these speaking uh, meet, meeting planners represent the market, right? So if I didn't get chosen or, or to advance, that meant, that meant the market didn't appreciate or didn't really have room for the message. And so, you know, the thing that I felt I let down is I'm, I'm the conduit of the message and I didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to let the message down because I know the impacts it had on you guys and, you know, Justice was upset because we didn't get the email. And so I was like, and I remember telling Whitney, it was like late at night and I'm trying to kind of come to reality with this because I, I, I didn't feel bad because I did my best. And I was going to, I was going to, I literally was going to name today's uh, Facebook Live, you know, when the best isn't good enough, right? Because a lot of you guys said, hey, I tried my best and it was good enough. And, but because I did my best, so I couldn't complain about it. But the, the, and I hope you, hopefully you watch, watch this whole thing if you didn't go in the back seat. But I remember telling Whitney last night, the reason why I was confused and try to catch this is going to be deep. I was confused. I said, I go, because this wasn't part of the vision, meaning that like, you know, the way I saw this weekend happening, me, me not moving forward wasn't, it wasn't part of the vision. Like this, like this wasn't in the story. You follow what I'm saying? I know this is like fourth dimensional stuff, but I'm like, it didn't happen this way in the vision. So that means, you know, something, I just, I just couldn't accept. It wasn't for me. It just, the vision didn't have this outcome. So I said, you know what, I'm just going to email the, the team. And I emailed the staff. And I'm like, hey, listen, did you guys uh, send out the list, you know, of, of the people who advanced to the top 12? And, you know, uh, I woke up this morning, like at 7 or 8. And listen, I thought it was over. So I was, and for me, like when I get a little, what I do is when I have down times, uh, I probably never told you, but when I have down times, which I do, I, uh, I take one full day to mourn. And just be little, and just to, to let it out and just do all that stuff. So, you know, I was like, today I'm going to wake up late. It was snowing here like crazy in Colorado. I'm like, I'm just going to take my time. I'm not going to do anything. I wasn't going to go to this, the speak-offs tonight. And I'm like, I'm not going to that. You know, I'm, you know, just the whole thing. I'm just going to probably binge eat today. Because, you know, I take one full day. I think one full day is good. You get it out of your system. And then uh, at 7 o'clock or 7.30 in the morning, now I'm texting Roberto. Hey, Roberto. You know, I mean, they had no feedback from me. I don't know what I didn't do wrong. So I, they, I, they didn't, I, I didn't do anything wrong that they didn't like. So I'm like, so maybe the message wasn't just, the market didn't want it. So then about 8 o'clock in the morning, I get an email saying, yes, Dr. Zaina, we did send out the emails already. I'm like, okay. Then I get another email. You know, Dr. Zaino, uh, I checked with my other staff member, and they were actually sent out before the VIP event uh, at 10 o'clock last night. So I'm like, all right, steak and we're good. I got it. And then a couple minutes later, I got another email. That goes, hey, Dr. Zeno, so and so wanted you to know that you did make the finals. Congratulations, and I'm sorry you didn't get the email. <laughs> I was like, so I spent like eight hours of lamenting, going through this process, and it, you know it's so funny because it did test my pride, it did test my ego, but in a very uh, elegant way. You know, I wasn't prideful ego that, oh, I lost. I realized in the moment, I kind of felt bad for the message. Like, you know what, this message is so powerful. And, and then at the second thing, it didn't work. It like, like this wasn't according to the vision that I've been uh, envisioning this whole time. And uh, then to see uh, that I did get into the finals. <laughs> so I'll be doing the finals tonight. So I get five minutes on stage in front of the whole crowd, about 280 people uh, on the main stage. Uh, in front of 21 meeting planners, so it'll represent 2,000 stages across the world will be represented tonight uh, when I do the five minutes. And uh, I'm ready, you know, it, it's, it's, it, we're on course with the vision. And in fact, it, there was an, uh, this was an unknown, but it really tested my, uh, how I would react in a situation. And I believe it did turn good, I was sad, but I was more sad that, uh, but I wasn't sad because I was like, I couldn't do any better. I did my practice. But it did turn out great. So they just had forgotten to send me the email. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know, if, so they sent me the email. I got to know what I need to do. So I'll be speaker number eight out of 12. I will not be able to bring this and tape it because uh, they do all the taping. So you're not allowed to tape. So you won't see a lot of footage from this weekend 
because they won't let the team in. Because I'm not going to my buddy's uh, seminars anymore. I can't, you know, Josh Axe lets me come in and stuff like that. And, but uh, here it's, uh, it's business. So we'll do it tonight. So I'm going to go there in about a half hour. So uh, wish me, uh, don't wish me luck. Luck is, uh, luck is just a, a, a mistaken thing when preparation and opportunity to meet. Just, uh, just send your, uh, your positive vibes my way. Uh, that the meeting planners will receive the message versus scoring me. They will receive it and feel it. And uh, this could be a very big opportunity for the hero, for our hero message and my hero message to go out and really change the world. So uh, I'm just giving you an update. And, uh, so, and so what's the lessons for today? The lessons today are that you need to tell your story. Your story is very impactful. I think it's almost your duty to do so. Uh, two... If it, you know, when, 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 you, when things might not turn out the way it should be, always remember that if you did your best, sometimes your best may not be good enough in the moment, right? We never really talked about that. Well, do your best and it'll all work out. That's not life, is it? But fortunately, if you just allow, you know, if you keep on investigating and keep on pushing like I did, and then you'll find out you really did make it. So let's say, let's say I didn't pass. What would happen, right? So if I did not pass... Um, what would I have done, right? So am I going to hang this message up? No way. I would have went home, I would have called Roberto, and I would have said, tear up the old message, tear up the talk, and let's start from scratch again. Because that's what you would do, right? I'm not going to let one little bump in the road. See, it's the unknowns. You're not going to let that one bump. But, but like I said, also, I just want to tell you, you, know, you, you can have a, a, a funky day, but just don't don't lament too long. <laughs> my my uh, my outlet was would be foods. I'm glad I didn't binge. Thank God for that. So what I did, I just worked out and got it out of my system. So that's the thing. Tell your story uh, and understand that in life, even doing your best may not be good enough in the moment. Uh, but that means you don't quit. You just start from scratch again and build it even bigger and better. And then when you feel something isn't part of the vision, don't be afraid to use a little bit of pride and ego and investigate. And say, wait a second, I didn't get an email. And I, I thought maybe I should have. And sure enough, maybe a lot of times just asking for it, maybe someone made a mistake and didn't get it. So wish me, uh, wish me your blessings tonight. We appreciate you guys. I'll see you tomorrow with 15 minute fuel. I'll be a little bit more relaxed then because I got to get the pressure off. And uh, I'm game faced. So it's not that I'm nervous, but like I get, I get very silent and game faced because, you know, that's the way I get focused. And we'll see you guys tomorrow with 15 minutes fuel, we're 15 minutes a day. We'll free your mind, your body, and your future.